Hello guys, how are you? Today I would like to take you through how to clean and then you calibrate your grinder. This is the Ferenzato F64 Evo. So it's been so dirty and then for some time now it's not been clean. So I just decided to do this cleaning and then show you how to quickly do it and then we fix it up. So you just have to open and then clean the teeth, brush it well, but be careful whilst you brush because um, it can be dangerous. Well, the way you hold it, see, just follow the way I'm doing it and then you'll be able to do it. It is easy and simple. You just clean it, make sure it is very clean, like I mean highly clean because this grinders that is like it's just like your teeth if you don't clean it it's like it doesn't when you eat something you don't feel it so if you don't clean it well when you are when it's grinding the beans it's it's not really working the way it's like manufactured or designed to work and this teeth they have a um, they are measured in different millimeters and different scales so with this one you will have to clean it to the extent that it goes to almost like new or even if it is a used grinder you can work on it and then still becomes perfect in a perfect condition so that's it i just opened it and then cleaned and then we will quickly you see how dirty the, the whole place is so i want you to subscribe to my channel and then come back for more so you see how clean it is now i'm not even getting the right tools to use to clean but still it's okay we i, will, I was just managing this brush and then a, 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 cut, a knife, small cutlery, the plastic one. It's not appropriate though, but I, I tried. So you, you do it gradually so that you don't have to spoil anything or don't let it break inside the, the machine. So I just took my time gradually, removed the small, small dents and the stains. Some of them were stuck on the blade and also um, in the you see where I'm putting the this one? There is where the the grind comes from. So you have to put the something there and then you, you just push it there, it will remove all the stains from the ins that is stuck in the um, the outer. What brings the grind hole, it will just bring the whole thing out. So I just quickly had to brush it. The mouth where the blade for the dialing is just had to clean it for it to become like um, very clean you can see from here now it's, it's cleaner it's better than how it was when I opened it here so that's that's a good thing about it and uh, I wasn't I didn't get a, a, this tool I think is it the there's a hoover or something the small ones where you, you can use it to pick the two the, the depths from it the, it is easier if you get that one it will be very easy I didn't have that one that's why you saw me blowing air <laughs> into the this one so that's it and um, I think I just finished cleaning it and then I was cleaning the place I'm cleaning the place so that I can actually put the the dial and then we dial in so that's it so with this dial you check and then let it sit properly and then there are these uh, springs on the screws you have to put them first so you put the springs in the, the three springs before you put the uh, the dial head so after after that you just um, set it up so you see me there and then you hold up this uh, the regulator you used to regulate it yeah so that is it there yeah so you see that thing you touch and then you hold this one and you hold it down and then you you go that is anti-clockwise yes when you are opening you open from the clockwise so when you are closing you close it to the anti-clockwise side and then you fix this uh, hopper and then you set you you close the hopper also with your beans in the closed and that's just all about it so I set the grind size and 
That's it. You fix this one also. This tool helps you to set your to dial in easily and properly. It really helps to dial in easily and properly so that you don't have to struggle too much to rotate the, the scale. You get it. So you I just put it on to check if we are cool and then I think we are good to go. Yeah. So I just did a few settings and then the screen changed and I think it's nice. It's better I like this uh, theme than the black one I prefer this one so I just took a few uh, uh, to a few this ones to just check if it was okay I just had to dial a few teeth in and then fix it up so I just added a little that so that's just all about it set the calibration and then that's it this is a kin tech channel I do everything tech from phones, machines, everything. So we just set it in and then we go from here. If you want to see more of my videos and more, just like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. And then you'll find me here all the time to share with you. Yeah. Enjoy your your video. Yeah. Thank you for coming to my channel and then uh, I'm happy to see you guys every time and I'll always be happy to see you because I made this channel purposely for you so that we learn, we share ideas together. Yeah, that's it. So that's the end of the video. I want you to return to this channel. I'll be posting something interesting is coming very soon. Thank you.